Hey guys, Risque here and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. Um, so, last we left off, um, here's the thing. We lost a few episodes because my PS4 died. And so, we're playing this on the Xbox Series S, which I'm actually kind of okay with. The loading screens are a lot faster and um, the, the graphics are better. But anyway, um, so the next couple episodes won't be blind because um, we lost a few episodes. Um, but the rest will be. But anyway, we were, we're, we're here trying to figure out who killed that dude. And I think it's this guy, pretty sure. Also, I just want to say disclaimer, when replaying through this and getting us back to where we were, I did do things differently. Um, I didn't even try to for some of it. Like um, for the first case, I accused Luca, the medium, which turns out he actually did it. So in the first playthrough, I totally threw an innocent man in jail. And then, um, I went ahead and threw uh, Arthur Swift in jail for Gildan's murder this time. So those are the differences. I don't know if it's going to affect anything. I doubt it, but we'll see. Okay, let's talk. Okay, let's observe here. So he's consumed by guilt or stress because he did it. Hives because he's stressed because he did it. Oh, he's wounded. Oozing through the bandage. Such a God awful word. Hands are shaking because he's nervous because he did it. He has horrible shoes. And he's missing his knife, I bet. That's a curved blade. He's on edge. I don't think he's remorseful. I think he's on edge. But I mean, I mean, he might be remorseful. I don't think he is, though. He's on edge. The culprit is at the house of the eagle. Judging by his ornamented sheath, he is the Skion, Skion of this family. Wearing a bloody bandage under his shirt and due to the missing knife in his sheath, he is clearly the murderer. It seems that his heart is still racing and he's still wound up from a fight. He's trying to suppress it, but his body gives him away. What are you staring at, you crazy woman? So, here you are. The wounded eagle in its eerie. What the hell? An Englishman here? Why are you wearing a dress? I understand your confusion. It's been a turbulent day, hasn't it? Do you have any idea who you're talking to, Brit? Indeed I do. You are the proud son of this house. Proud, but wounded. You keep it well hidden, but you're far too nervous to think straight. So please let me explain while you catch your breath. I am Osai, son of Hassan. You are on my father's property, and yes, you had better start being convincing. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I have every reason to believe that you were involved in the murder of Mark Ridley. Are you accusing me? You're goddamn right. You're goddamn right I am. Oh shit, okay, hold on. Got thirsty. <clears throat> okay, I identified the killer on the right, right away, because uh, I'm a boss. So what were the means of this crime? Um... Okay, the, the means of the crime? I mean... Have you completely lost your goats? This is crazy. Ha! <laughs> Certainly no crazier than the callow way you ambushed the corporal. Yeah, what he said. What are you saying? What's all this pickled cabbage? I'm saying, please pardon the metaphor, he was a fishbone that became lodged in your throat. You had a strong motive to see him dead. Facts. Um... All right, that's enough. First you sneak into my house, and now this? We'll put you down like the rabbit dog you are. Yeah, huh? sure thing. I, I think I'm actually getting better at this combat though. I did kill a man, so that was unfortunate. I'm coming. Uh, yeah, I, I've just, it's taken, it's, it's taken some getting used to with the new no buttons. No more crime for you until next month. Because, literally, I haven't played Xbox since the 360. So, like, it's been a minute. I'm not used to the button setup. Also, I gotta say... Too simple. The snuff's ready. Okay, cool. This is why I'm a Sony girl. Ow. Okay, ow. Fuck you, dude. Um, this is why I'm a Sony girl. I'm just not really a fan of the Xbox. 
Like, I got it because there were specific games um, that I could only play on Xbox that I wanted to do for the channel. And Microsoft does have uh, backwards compatibility over Sony, so that that is something I will always give them. Oh, dear God. There are too fucking many of you. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, I don't really love the... The controller just kind of feels cheaply made. Oh, I'm about to start a war in the comment section, aren't I? Ow! You're an asshole. I need to reload. Like, fuck you, dude. Is the snuff ready yet? I don't think it is. Oh, it is. Sweet. You're an it. You're an it? Okay. I was gonna say you're an idiot. I guess I just forgot the itty part. Um. Yeah, fuck you. Because it's like, all the buttons are so loud. Take a the snuff's ready. Oh, are there still more? Oh, god damn it. I'm just like, get some fucking business, man. Can overcome the boot now. I couldn't miss the party. So yeah, sorry for the loud button Don't tapping. Cry. Give him the pepper snuff. I will here in a second. Okay, can you stop shooting me? That's not how you treat a lady. I couldn't miss the party. Y'all have no coof. Take Is that rest, Paul? My friend. Oh, they straight up just reused. Just reused a character model and thought I wouldn't notice. Is this gonna hit you? No, it's not. Oh, 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 it did. Oh, it did. Oh, well, that changes everything. Is that it? Can that be it? I'm still not really a fan of this combat. The snuff's ready. Okay, that was it. Sweet. Well, that went well. It's time for you to go to prison, Azai. Come with me, and let's do so peacefully this time. You'll regret this, Brit. Also, not sure if you can see the achievements. New entry in John's diary. What's better than a thrilling fight? Winnie, of course. Sherry truly knows how to have fun without a single casualty. Yeah, we did better that time. Although I couldn't get him to confess all the evidence points to Ozai of the House of the Eagle, the police can handle the case from here, and I need to report back to Mr. Estevo. I decided to arrest the culprit. The police can handle the case from here, and I need need to report back to Mr. Estevo. Okay, I was gonna do that. Where is Mr. Estevo? Get out of my face, Brit. You get out of my face, dick. Can I change? I'm kind of over wearing this. Also, um, I think we got like a, a different version of the game. I think we did get a lot of DLC. Um, so that's pretty cool. Wait, I forgot to... There we go. Oh, I keep forgetting to actually, like, take the stuff off. <laughs> I just... I, I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. So we got some, some different outfits that I might actually wear. Like, the black deluxe suit? He looks damn good in that. We're wearing this. Love it. Is this the way out of here? No, it is not. How do I get out of here? Oh, it's probably this way. Nope, that's two. This area is restricted. Okay. Well, you. Oh, here we go. This is probably it. Aren't you Mr. proud of me? Holmes, I am in no position to reprimand you, but you should know that your unwarranted intervention will cost us dearly. I did what I had to do. The killer was brought to justice. I didn't expect you to be so narrow minded. You have undermined your brother's efforts, and now we will have to face the consequences. Such is the price of law and order, Mr. Estevo. Everyone must be held accountable for their actions. Law and order? You are clearly oblivious of the bigger picture, Mr. Holmes. There is no point in us discussing it further. I bid you good day. You did everything right, Sherry, no matter what Mycroft or his henchmen will say. Thank you, John. I bid you bad day. Bad day, sir. Okay. Um, but yeah, I... I did pretty much everything we did. I did the string theory. I did silence is golden. I did the hand me down. It was kind of nice breezing through these, these, uh, what the fuck else? Um, breezing through these cases. So I think after we finished this last time we played in the episodes that will never be, 
Um, I think we went ahead and did the Muse from Abroad next. So, let's go ahead and head to Vogel's Art Gallery. So I'm about to be really good at this case for like a split second. Y'all are gonna be so impressed. Oh boy. Oh, there's an uproar. Okay. Just don't fight me. Located at the caravanserai at the crossroads of Bizarre Road and Hermes Ave in Old City. Okay. Yeah, I've noticed that, like... Oh my god, the loading screens, though. Because, okay, so I've been having to replay Mass Effect um, to get us back to where we were. And, like, I, since choices are involved, I'm also replaying it while I'm watching my playthrough of it to make sure that I do everything the same. <laughs> It's insane to me how long the fucking loading screens were on the PS4. It's crazy. And I mean, I knew, I kind of knew secretly without wanting to admit it that it was on its way out. Because it had been getting like so loud when I was recording. Like y'all could hear it. It was insane. And I, I think I even remember saying like, man, I hope that it's not going to give out soon. Yeah, so basically what happened, it told me to update. I was about to record, everything was going fine. It told me it needed to update, and it wouldn't sign in until I did, so I was like, okay, fine, I'll update it. And then it just never turned back on. And it was just like, you've got to be kidding me. Everybody here is still loud, so that's fun. Like, do y'all hear that shit? Mr. Holmes, you came! Oh, how kind. Though now, of course, I realize it is because of my game, not the works on display. It needn't be one or the other. Your man's disguise was easily debunked, Mr. Vogel, but I shall admit that you planted in me the seed of curiosity. Ah, terrific! I had no doubt you'd put the pieces together. Let us call it an opening gambit before the real game begins. So, this little game of yours, what's it about? An enigma to solve. A locked area in the basement with no windows found brutally vandalized. I have no clue how it was possible. What about this intrusion? What happened? Last night, I was about to leave the gallery when I heard a noise downstairs. I went to the basement, but I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. It was admittedly a rudimentary inspection. It is not uncommon to get rats down there, so seeing nothing of note, I left and locked up the building. When I returned this morning, alas, I discovered that part of the exhibition had been torched, and there was no sign of the intruder. The mystery being, of course, that all the doors to the gallery were locked exactly as I left them. And the door to the basement is the only entrance? Correct. Tell me you're not intrigued. And this locked area downstairs, what exactly was it? The under gallery. It's always shut, and I'm the only one with the key. Ah, so this is your private collection, not part of the gallery. Oh, no! It's an exclusive exhibition of eccentric pieces. Only a select cadre of artists, investors, and collectors are admitted. Not everyone deserves to have their eyes opened. Well, this matter is certainly within my wheelhouse. This intrusion troubles me. Please take a look around, if you're willing. The under gallery is through the door at the end. I will see what I see. Alright. Let's do this. Again, sorry if you hear any noise from the asshole out there. That is just blaring their fucking phone as loud as they you possibly sure can. You sure you don't like art, Sherry? The Apparition. Gustave Moreau. The Origin of the World. Gustave Courbet. Yep, that's... Damn. I forget that the bushes were all the rage back in the 1800s. I mean, it's not like you could go get that shit lasered off. I get it. Luncheon on the Grass, Edouard Manet. These names are really something else. I am just so sorry for the noise y'all might hear. I'm just like, man, people are just fucking rude. <laughs> A.C. taxidermist. He's gonna have a heart attack when he sees what I bring him. Ain't that the goddamn truth? Okay. John and I went down to the basement of Vogel's exhibition where his more provocative works of art are kept out of the public eye. The rooms there are named in honor of other decadent artists. 
Damn. A simplistic attempt at provocation. Indeed it is, indeed it is. Okay. Looks to have been slightly moved. A handprint of the thing from another world. Thus it looks fresh and its coal origin ruins the effect of the extra mundane. Well, Sherlock, everyone's a critic. There's something else here. Oh, that's creepy. Sherry, how about some company in that dreary chamber of yours? Leave my loneliness unbroken, John. Oh, oh, John. I can show you a dreary chamber if you're into that kind of thing. This bed, though, looks comfy, not gonna lie. 29 inches, okay. 24 inches, god The damn. left step's length is shorter than the right. It indicates that the walker was lame. Old, and hasn't been used for a long time. Sherry, you're gonna be cancelled for that. New mind palace clue. Coal footprints. Hand traces and footprints made by coal dust were found in Vogel's gallery. Closed with a metal bolt. Oh, well that's okay. Scratches, fresh, magnet filings. Footprints, size nine and a half. Okay. We got some little dainty feet. Okay. Um, let me just kind of look around. Okay, we can interact with that painting. Good to know. Okay, we did interact with everything in there we could have. All right. Oh, Jesus. Sodden and mold ridden. One presumes deliberately. I do I hear that shit. I don't know. I just I wouldn't take a call in a common area. I would go to my room for that, and I surely wouldn't talk at the fucking top of my lungs. The parasites of creativity. Or just a reflection of the artist's recreational interests. Something something like that, something or other. Good god. Saturn devouring his son. Oh, grim composition. His son got cakes, I'm though. His ferocity, yet somehow beautiful. All cheeked up like that for what? God damn. Satan's son got a BBL. Okay. The frame is empty. Ugh, sheer vandalism. Only an ignorant person could do such a thing. Amen. At least something decent seems to offend Sherlock. It's rare when that happens. Sir? Oh. There we go. A mount pal bot. Okay. Cold fingerprints. I think we're looking for a man with a cold moustache. Sounds like a plan. New mind palace clue. Good god. Okay, so gallery intruder is a smoker who limps. A mouth house cigarette butt and a limping foot trail were found on the ground. <laughs> the chain is fragile. Four paintings. Alright, sweet. Whoop, wrong button. See, it's it's just it's taken some getting used to with these these buttons games here. So I mean, thankfully, like it's still muscle memory. So like, pretty much like, it's just triggers and bumpers are are different than R one and R two. <laughs> okay, so here we're gonna have Vogel's old ass coming down to investigate. Then over here. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think everything else is supposed to be the intruder. The intruder tried to hide. And then... The intruder stole the painting. Or set it on fire, or whatever that was. And... Then that. Okay, let's try it. 
The intruder entered the basement through the coal chute. He used a magnet to open the hatch bolt. He accidentally pushed a shovel to the floor. Vogel heard the noise. At the sound of his approaching footsteps, the intruder hid inside the coffin. When Vogel entered the basement, he failed to notice anything strange and left without properly checking. The intruder waited until Vogel had left the caravanserai before burning the paintings in Wilde's room. But the vandalism was a cover for the theft. Well, there you go. And that's all we need to hear. So the noise was caused by the intruder into the basement through the coal chute. When he heard Vogel coming downstairs, the intruder hid inside the coffin. He waited until Vogel left the can ca caravanserai before vandalizing the art space. Afterward, he took down the paintings from Wilde's room and burned them, but that could just be a cover for the theft. I don't know who's out there, but I want to fight them. And I want to throw hands. Throw actual, literal hands. The pieces are not what I expected. What do you think my collection is about? It's a reflection on mortality. Nothing lasts forever, no beauty sustains itself, and everything succumbs to darkness. Am I right? I don't know. Well, that's absurd. Of course you know. It's your gallery. There is no one answer, no singular truth, but many filtered through the subjective mind. That forgetting, embellishing, lying machine. Besides, What's wrong with a lie if it makes life more interesting? What's wrong with a lie? It corrupts the ability of others to behave freely and rationally. Men never act freely and rationally anyway. It matters not what is or isn't in the end. The only important thing is how you feel. And I simply want to feel and consume as much as I can. Don't you? Feelings are simply one's animal ancestry trying to wrest back control of the brain. I try to avoid the distraction. You try not to feel, even in a place like this? None of it moves you? To be frank, I struggle to maintain even a wit of interest in art. But Mr. Holmes, it is joy incarnate, mankind's greatest achievement. Mankind's highest achievement above all others is objective and rational thought. I see then why you dislike art, for it means whatever you want it to. Or perhaps, Mr. Vogel, I was lying. Aha. Uh -huh. Mr. Vogel, my investigation has revealed that the intrusion was not merely vandalism, but theft. The limping visitor left your place with a canvas. That's very impressive. This thief was familiar with the gallery, and he was sporting a limp. Do any of your clients or artists come to mind? My! Your attention to detail is remarkable, Mr. Holmes. I should introduce you to Bosch's works. Alas, I'm afraid I cannot suggest a culprit. The fire was a clever attempt to hide a stolen painting, even if it didn't fool me. I found the remnants of an empty frame in the pile of ashes. The canvas had been removed. Do you know which paintings in the Wild Room may have interested a thief? Were any particularly expensive? Those pieces belonged to a well-known artist named Boniface Mercurio. They're controversial, but not of a notably high value. The intruder entered the basement through the coal chute. He used a magnet to open the latch and dislodged the shovel while doing so. That's the noise you heard yesterday. When you went downstairs to investigate, he hid in the coffin. Hmm. It seems I should have checked the space more thoroughly. There's something more, is there not? I can see it in your eyes. Hmm. Indeed. There is another intriguing angle. I recently received an anonymous offer for one of Mercurio's works. The sum was more than fair, and indeed could have saved Mercurio from his artistic poverty. But he declined it. Was it a performative whim? Some artists lionize pain and hardship as if their work would be worse after a meal and a hot bath. I cannot tell. But not only did he refuse the deal, he insisted on displaying the painting in the public space. I was hoping to change his mind, but artists are a special breed of stubborn. So where can I find Boniface Mercurio? I know he lives somewhere in Old City, but couldn't be more specific. He's a prominent figure, so finding him shouldn't be a problem. What was depicted in the piece? Hmm, a bound woman, wrapped in robes, being penetrated by a red devil that stared at us, the viewer. 
The beast had numerous tails growing from his back, and a large crowd gathered around the pair, silently watching the orgiastic scene. Okay, well, given the nature of the other works on display, it's hard to see why that one stood out. What could possibly be its value? The evaluation of art is very subjective, Mr. Holmes. After all, art is everything. A poem, a bruise, the beads of sweat on your beloved skin. Even a masterfully solved crime. I'm not sure I see the connection. Regardless, the painting was one of a series called The Sabbath Night in Cordona. The works depict sex, violence, and other controversial acts that life, for better or worse, contains. Ah, I see. I'm not sure that you do, but that can wait for another time. Well, I believe I have enough to begin. Thank you, Mr. Vogel. Your gallery certainly has unexpected depths. I'm delighted to have been able to please a friend. In return, I expect you to come back with good news. Or at least with a good story. All right. Let's go ahead and look at our new evidence. Okay, so Vogel said that the artist Boniface Mercurio lives somewhere in Old City, but he doesn't know where exactly. He also mentions that Mercurio is a prominent person. All right, we'll go ahead and find... Boniface Mercurio's living space on the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, hit the bell so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you guys next time.